Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the power and our Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Mashiach, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy without blame for him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself according to his good pleasure and his will. We'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Mahashem Yahweh Shai, Mahashem Vahara Kakudash, Dover honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS and Ruel, peace and blessings to the whole elect. GMS Arkansas, come on this lesson. This is Ephesians, the first chapter, uh, verse 3 through 5. It speaks of Yahweh Shai having basically uh, certain spirits to himself from the foundations of the world before the world was created. It was certain spirits that he had for himself, okay, beforehand, give, predestinated, meaning beforehand, okay, already giving us that adoption of, of sons, giving us that basically that, that uh, kingdom, being that special people, okay, being the first fruits, okay, it was already beforehand, but what you had, we had to come, we had to come our spirits had to be sent here, okay, to this hell, okay, okay, because this earth coming from the spirit world to here is basically coming to a lower place. You're coming to a hell, which we had to come to and experience, okay, and we had to live a, a, a life of what you call, what we would call a, a two-third life, okay, we were believing in uh, the philosophies of our 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 um, masters, the slave owners. We took hook, line, and sinker their way of life, okay. And we we ran with it. Some having Stockholm syndrome. No matter what you tell them, they're gonna always basically uh, do as the masters say. That's why you have the thing going on there. Everybody got their arms stuck out. These are the same people that have believed what the master have said all the, all, all the way. They haven't rebelled. They haven't cried out to the Heavenly Father. Okay? And we were part of, we were part of that number. Lord willing, we're part of this number that was chosen from the foundations. Okay? But the Lord had to wake us up through what? Through this word. Okay? He had to wake you up. Uh, it was an awakening. You know, it's the only way that you was going to come from under the, basically the clutches of your, your slave master and have that chance of uh, coming back to your house shy, okay, and inherit a kingdom. Uh, John 6 and 63, it says, it is the spirit that quicken it, okay, the spirit, okay, the spirit, it says, uh, Sometimes referred in way of emphasis of personality or character. Sometimes referred in a way of emphasis of his work and power. Spirit, a vital principle which the body is innate, a rational spirit, a power which human feels or thinks or decides, the soul, the essence, simple essence, devoid of all that at least gross, uh, the grosser matters of power or knowing, desiring, deciding, acting, a life-giving spirit. Okay? The spiritual nature of Yahweh Shai higher than the angels, equal to the most high to divine nature, the disposition or influence which feels or governs the soul of any man, an efficient source of power, effective emotion, emotional desire that disposition or that influence okay and divine influence is is that grace okay and this is how we say by grace man the lord showed that mercy to certain men okay they ain't got nothing to do with you being uh uh, uh, uh smarter than the next man or i can 
speak better than the next man. Man, the Lord, it's all about the Lord, man. You know, giving you that before the before even thing, anything was created. Okay, that's why you see the Lord deals with a lot of brothers who who seem uh, like they they really don't like going really didn't care about high school. He takes the basically the uh, the humble, the low man, and, and exalts him up above the ones who think they're high minded. Okay, it is the spirit. So we know it's that disposition of that influence, okay, that soul, that quickening. Quickening meaning what? Uh, uh, Zuapoyo, to produce alive, to begot, to bear living young, to cause, to live, to make alive, to give life by spiritual power to arise or invigorate. To restore to life. You see, the spirit quickening and, and respects to the spirit endued with the new and greater powers in life, metaphorically, of seeds quickening into life. So we were in a dead state when we was uh, under our masters, okay? Because it's part of the curses, the Lord taking it from you, okay? And we were made alive again. The flesh profited nothing. You see? Because it don't matter what you think you know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm smarter than the next. Oh, I'm stronger than the next man. Just because you, I can lift a thousand pounds. You only can lift ten. I'm going to make it. No, it's not like that. Okay? Or I know how to, I know how to build houses and you don't. I'm going to make it. No, it's not about that. Okay? It said that flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are the life. So these words that the Heavenly Father is speaking, these words in the scriptures, this is the life, man. So we have to cling to it, okay? Grab a hold to it. This is precious, okay? This is, this is more precious than gold and silver, okay? Way more precious than gold and silver, okay? The brother sent me a good psalm speaking of that the other day. He was talking about gold and silver. Man, this faith we have is, is way more, way more, um, way more expensive, way more precious than any gold and silver a person could give you, man. Okay? Because this is your way out. This is your way to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Okay? These words, that's why you have to be immersed back into this word. Okay? This is water. Okay. You ever see pictures where people, when they uh, uh, basically, they go in the water and they drown, then they get pulled back out, and then they come back to life. They say, "Oh, it's a new beginning." Okay, the washing of the water by the word. You see. Five and twenty-six. It says that we might that we might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the water, by the word. The word is what immer you immersed in this word. It washes you up. Okay, any brother coming into the truth will tell you how much how much they sit down. And uh, never probably opened a Bible before, but they opened up the Bible. Then they start watching videos. And every brother got countless testimonies of how I just watch videos for hours in and hours out. You know, me, myself, man. You know, in a room, you go, you there like 48 hours. You ain't, you ain't even, you ain't even like eight because it, it immersed you, it fed you. Okay, this is like food. See, when you got when you got into those videos, it was kind of like you was stuck so hard you didn't do nothing, you didn't eat, you didn't drink. But guess what? The Most High had you immersed in His Word, and then you was fasting. You go all day. You I watch videos twenty four hours. I ain't even ate. The Word put you on a fast. The Word fed you. 
Okay? You will emerge, man, by this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You will influence. And it's all by design. Okay? Certain ones are chosen. It says, What then Israel have obtained, have not attained that which it seeketh for? Okay? They look for the truth. You know? Israel, they think, and it's Israelites that think they know. They go into these other philosophies. They think they are uh, 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 one up on you, or they think they know some knowledge, but they haven't obtained that which it seeketh for, the real truth being emerged in the real water. They haven't obtained it. They haven't been drowned and brought back alive, right? They haven't been dead and brought back. They are dead, but they're not been brought back alive. They have not been what? Quickened. Okay, that's what I want to say. They have not been quickened by this word. Okay? They immersed. They being drowned. They dead. Spiritually dead, man. But they haven't been brought back through because a lot of them, and there's some that are in that state that are going to be brought back as 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 the uh, ending of this man's age comes, okay, more and more this dude shows you he's a devil. Certain people are gonna be emerging from that water. They're gonna get it. But Israel, what then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, for the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. So the election, okay, the chosen, eclectos, eclectas, meaning the chosen one. Okay. They have obtained it. All right. They have obtained that 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 uh the eighth verse. It says, For by grace ye are saved through the faith. See by grace. Yeah. That which affords pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, loving. Loving his grace of speech, goodwill, loving kindness, and favor. That merciful kindness by which God exerted his holy influence upon souls. His divine influence of the mind. Okay. For by that grace ye are saved. He basically looking out for you through faith. Man. So we have to keep our faith. Because our faith is going to be tested. who walk through this world blinded, those are the same ones you see that'll speak against you when you're trying to uh, uh, preach the gospel of the truth to the world. Those are the same ones who uh, are uh, the simple ones who keep loving simplicity. Proverbs, the first chapter. Those are the ones, man. Okay? Those are the ones. So this is a, a, a special thing that we in. And if you have been called to do this and if the most high puts his grace on you uh his hand on you to to keep your faith and finish this work and endure to the end hey man you are you are a special people you're special people and you're considered to be real real lucky man okay because the most high saved eight people okay he saved eight people man that, that lets you know he started the whole world out with eight people, so he don't really, he don't, he don't really, he don't need to deal with the people, man. So you got to consider yourself lucky, you know, and give all thanks to uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, if he if he has you in the streets doing this right now, and more thanks will come, hey, if, when that time of, of Jacob's trouble come, and in the thermonuclear destruction, if you make it to the chariots, man. That that's a that's a whole nother exalting of your how about Shimmy that that that's gonna happen, man. Because hey, like I said, man, he he, he only he say eight people. You know? 
eight. Um, let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to see the, the scripture I can go out on. Okay, man. I know it's, I know this should be one right here. Kind of Mark 13 and 13. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he shall in, but he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we're going to be hated for this truth, okay? But you have to endure, okay? The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. You know, all the brothers' trials, and you will be tested. We're tested on small levels now, but a big test is coming. So you have to endure to the end, and the elect will endure. So with that, hope this lesson was edifying. Call Allah, you lie, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahara, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Peace and blessings to the whole four. Like GMS Arkansas. Till the next time, I say shalom.